Hey, what's up everybody? Out here at Brackenridge today, snowboarding on Peak 9. We got a big crew, Kevin's here, Bo's here, as well as Ryan Napton. And Ryan is actually letting me try some of his Donex snowboards today. So right now I'm on a Napton Twin 153 trying it out. It's not nearly as specced out as Ryan's board. It's a little bit mellower, but still a really, really fun carving snowboard. The specs on this guy, just to let y'all know, is a 8.5 meter side cut radius and a 27 centimeter waist width. So it's above average width, above average side cut, and of course it's full positive camber with those blunted tips, so it's got a pretty long effective edge. It's also quite stiff, and apparently this is like the mellower flexing version of it. So uh, we got some variable conditions out here right now, but gonna try to get some carves going and see if I can't do this Napton Twin some justice. This thing is aggressive, but that extra width is super fun. We got a better pitch coming up right here. Try to go front three over this roller like Ryan does. The board definitely rips for carving. You can go so much more aggressive on your heels and your toes with that super wide waist width. But it is a pretty aggressive board, so it's kind of hard to get used to being able to control that aggressive of a snowboard. I was trying to do some of the butters like Napton does and even laying out those toe side carves. Having a bit of trouble feeling it out on that first lap. I think maybe spending a whole day on this, I might get used to it. But Ryan's actually about to roll through right now. And his board is like super specked out. 31 and a half at the waist. 14 meter side cut, I believe, 13 or 14. I'm about to follow him with the gimbal real quick. Let's see uh, what these boards can actually do. And that is why Ryan is the legend, guys. That was freaking insane. If you wanna see more of that, go check out Ryan's channel. But right now, I'm actually on Ryan Napton's snowboard. Let's do it. <laughs> Ryan, you got any tips for me? Tilt that thing perpendicular to the snow. That's the only way it's gonna turn. It's got such a big side cut radius. This is a little toy compared to that. Both Napton twins, but just customized specs to be way bigger, way, way bigger. So good luck, TJ. <laughs> Bend those knees and high edge angles. Perpendicular. Tilted full on edge. <laughs> once where you really cut across the hill. So that's like bottoming out. You got in that position. You're bottoming out because there's just too much forces at the end. It, like just pull out of that. Okay. 
heel for this snowboard is just mind-blowing there was at least three times I thought for sure I was gonna fall over that heel edge just bit and rode me through that carve it's so fun it's so different the tip I'll say is that he was getting his legs really extended there because he's used to a side cut that cuts right back real quick where this one just wants to glide along its previous path for a ways longer. So I would say bend your knees excessively on that heel side, like just hold the most squatted legs you can. getting the chance to hop on Ryan's board. Super different feel to it for sure. I think first off his bindings, they've got a little bit of forward lean on the bindings there, which is something I'm not used to. Really helped out with the heel side carves, but was definitely something I had to get used to. The width I think was all right. Uh, that wasn't too difficult to get used to, but the side cut jumping up huge on the side cut on that guy. So I think in some of the clips you can actually see, I kind of get surprised locked into that heel edge, but it's crazy how much you can lay that thing over. It's really fun. Check out Donic Snowboards if you're looking to get a custom board that's especially made for carving. Uh, it's pretty insane trying it out. I'll have Ryan break down the specs real quick for reference for you. That specific board that TJ was on, uh, 153 with a 27 centimeter waist and an 8.5 meter radius. For TJ, he was a pretty powerful powerful rider, so the specs that I'd recommend for him, about that length, that's the, the length that he seems to like. I would uh, probably have him on a 28 centimeter waist for deeper carbon yet, if that's what he was wanting to do on it. And then uh, radius, ooh, I'd bump that up for him too. 10.5, I think he'd get addicted to those bigger turns, so. Uh, what was the jump from that board up to your board? <laughs> My board's 14.5 meter side cut radius, 31.2 centimeter waist. Uh, yeah, it's just mine, and mine's the stiff version. This is the soft version, which is still not a soft board by any means. So, uh, yeah, mine's substantially bigger. It's all the same shape and everything, but those specs you can have customized with Donic, so, yeah. Awesome, man. It was super fun riding with you today, Ryan. Thanks for letting me hop on those Donics. Check out Ryan's channel if you're not already subscribed over there. He puts out some really awesome videos. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. See you in the next one soon. See ya.